everybody. Hi, my name is Buttercup. And I'm Alexandra. And we're explainers at the Science Museum, currently working on the Energy Blog project, which hopefully you guys will be doing very soon. The Energy Blog is all about how to save energy, so we thought we'd tell you how we save energy here at the museum. So what we did is we organised an interview with a very important person in a museum, and we organised an interview with a guy who's in charge of a whole science museum. The whole museum. So he knows loads of stuff about saving energy. And we did an interview because we wanted to share our, our ideas and how we save energy. So we just sent him an email and asked him very, very nicely. He said, please lots. He said, yes. We can borrow a camcorder and now we're going to go off to record his interview. It's just so easy. Super easy. And that's what we want you guys to do. We want you to find someone to interview, so it could be someone really important, or someone like your headmaster, or your headmistress, or the teachers that teach you. Or your friends, or the pupils, or people who are in your class helping you save energy, even your parents. Yeah, even your parents. And just ask them loads of questions, like all about energy, why it's important, they think it's important to save energy, and um, just catch it on tape, and hopefully download it onto your blog so everybody else can see it and you know if we all have lots of different ideas we can learn new ways of saving energy and you never know what you might be able to inspire the whole world to save whole energy world. whole world whole world so we're off now we've got our questions we've got our camcorder going to meet john tucker very important super nervous so let's see what happens and go and click on the website and see what you think of our interview let us know Bye. Bye. Hello everybody, my name is Alexandra and today I'm talking to John Tucker. He's the head of the Science Museum, all about what the museum is doing to save energy. Hello John. Hi. Hello. My first question is, how is the museum involved in the energy debate? The energy debate is of such significance, it's of global significance, of uh, significance to the survival of uh, the human race. So the Science Museum needs to be in there, in the middle of uh, the debate, doing what we do, getting people I I engaged and involved in discussions about energy, its supply, the future of energy supply and what it means for the planet. It means for the planet. Um, what is the museum doing to encourage its staff to get involved? staff uh, get closely involved in two main ways. First of all, of course, there's everything we produce for our visitors and our audiences, whether it's exhibitions or web material or TV programs or books. Um, our staff are researching and writing and contributing to all of that. Then, of course, within the Science Museum itself, we have a very active green team, um, and they, with staff all over the organisation, are looking for, the, for ways to use energy efficiently and to, uh, uh, to manage waste effectively so that we're actually doing things to uh, uh, make, make sure difference. we're sensible and make a difference, yes. Fantastic. Um, but why save energy? Why is it so important? I think there are two main reasons why it's important to save energy. The first is that many of the uh, ways in which energy is supplied rely on finite resources, uh, fossil fuel fuels being the obvious uh, example. The second thing, of, uh, 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 of course, is the more energy we use, the more we have our heating systems uh, uh, on, the more we, uh, fuel we burn, we're contributing to the effect of global warming. And what are the implications of energy saving beyond the finan obvious financial benefits? Uh, yes, it's certainly true. The incentive to save energy is as simple as uh, financial. It can save anyone, including ourselves, a, 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 a lot of money. Um, but as uh, 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 people are seeing increasingly with the research coming out and on, on the news, uh, the issue of global warming is serious. It's affecting climate everywhere. Some of the changes appear to be uh, uh, moving in a direction uh, 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 of really starting to spiral, and some of the changes appear irreversible. So, uh, uh, as a race, in fact, we really need to take this seriously. Yeah. Um, what is the museum's energy policy? Our policy is, is very simple. In everything we do, in all areas of operation of the museum, we look to be as sustainable and energy efficient uh, as we can possibly be. And we're continually checking the way we work and our systems to achieve that. So what is the museum doing to work towards this? For example, short and long-term plans. 
Okay, in the short term, we've already implemented a whole range of measures to uh, 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 save energy. Some, some of them are really very simple common sense things that anyone can do. It's things like not leaving electrical appliances on when you're not using them, making sure lights are turned off overnight. Yeah, exactly. Some of the things we do are more sophisticated than that. For example, our um, estate team makes sure our automated building management systems are configured to uh, be very energy efficient and uh, within the museum we operate a combined heat and power unit which is very very efficient in supplying um, uh, uh, electricity uh, and heat and cooling for the museum uh, at, at different types of the year. In the longer, uh, longer term um, we've got extensive uh, plans to introduce various air conditioning, uh, energy management uh, 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 systems, um, together with better control systems so we know exactly how much we're using where. Where it's where. going, how we can work. Fantastic. Um, and how big an impact, impact can, let's do that question again, how big an impact can the museum, museum's energy projects make towards the energy debate? Like, uh, the, the Science Museum can make an enormous uh, uh, impact on the debate. Um, we reach uh, two to three million people physically uh, uh, visiting the museum That's every impressive. year. I mean, across the whole of all of our museums, we might see eight million plus people using our websites uh, using material. We broadcast, we publish books. So we have a great opportunity through all our various media um, to help the public be informed, get involved uh, uh, in the energy debate. Um, the museum is currently going through lots of redevelopment work through our yeah. master plan. Yes. Um, to what extent is the energy policy mm -hmm. considered in the design process and all the other features that go into like, the planning and things yeah. like that? The energy policy, it's an integral part of all of the things that you've mentioned. Um, it's an integral part when we're actually designing exhibitions, uh, the content for the public. It's integral in the actual physical process of building those exhibitions, so we're always careful to consider sustainable materials um, and the energy effectiveness of uh, uh, our uh, 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 installations. Um, and uh, uh, then, of course, with live interpretation in the museum, uh, when we've got galleries open, when we've got explainers such as yourself working on galleries like the Energy Gallery, we bring it all to life for the public when they visit us. So they can enjoy it as much as we have. Fantastic. So, um, and what results or changes can our visitors and staff expect to see? Over the, the coming years, our visitors can expect to see energy as a theme. Um, uh, coming up all the time as one of those really important, significant topics where there's developments and technological developments for them to, uh, 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 to, to learn about. We're actually planning um, a full exhibition on the topic of uh, climate change, such as its uh, 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 significance. So that's something for the, uh, the future as well. Watch this space. Watch this space indeed. Well, thank you very much, John, for talking to us. Thank it's you. been very interesting.